Hello, I'm Kiria, uh, Director of Fletcher Pilates. This is Deborah Mendoza, and we're going to show you a, a series of exercises on the pedipole seated. Um, this is a wonderful series, especially for your clients who have extreme curves through their back. Um, you can also place them on a, a slightly elevated moon box um, above the pedipole if they have a hard time sitting on the floor. So we're going to start just with a simple roll down or spine stretch. Deb is seated in what we call the diamond position. Her hands are on the knees, elbows are open so the chest is open. And she'll start with two breaths to roll the spine away from the pole. Peeling down, hands glide down to the ankles. And then rolling up again as we did in standing, placing each bone against the pole. And all the way up. And we'll do that two more times. And rolling up. Good. So this is wonderful feedback for the spine. And starting from the base of the spine, base of the abdominals, rolling up. And then place the fingertips just out to the sides of the body. And let's take a full breath to side bend over to the right. And then allow that hand to just move with you. So glide this hand down on the floor. That's it. And then roll all the way up. <clears throat> so what we want to see on the side bends is that there isn't a rib shift in the opposite direction. So it's a clean lateral flexion. And you have the wonderful <coughs> feedback of the pole. And again, up and over to the right, reaching a little further this time. And coming up, finding center. And over to the left. Reaching and center. Last time over to the right. And then from here, continue that movement, tracing a line around the front of the body into flexion, rotating around to the other side, and lifting up and center the body. And then side bend over to the left and trace a line around the body, going into flexion and then into spinal rotation, lifting up and center. And let's do that one more time, each side and around. And finding center with the help of the pole and place last time. And lifting up and center the body. And then reaching up to find the straps. Good. And let's just start with some shoulder shrugs here, lifting the shoulders up, pulling down. And notice how the breath guides the movement of the shoulders. Two more times. Up, pull down one more time. Anchor the shoulders down and then keep that anchoring of the shoulders and draw the arms down so they form more of a goalpost position. And then from here, I want her to spiral her forearms in so the palms are facing towards her and then spiral out, working from the back, palms forward. And again, spiraling in and spiraling out without changing the position of the spine. One more time, spiral in and spiral out, holding that position, palms forward, take another breath in. Exhale, draw the elbows down to your sides. Inhale to the goalpost position. And as you pull down, elongate that spine and up two more times, pulling down and up. Last time, pulling down and up and then spiraling in so the palms are facing forward. And take a deep breath in, exhale, pull, and lift. And again, pull, lift up, last two. Notice the oppositional energy. Each time she pulls up, she elongates her spine. Let's do that one more time. And pulling down and up. And then from here, extend the arms all the way up, rotating the palms to face forward. 
Good. So this next piece requires um, a fair amount of shoulder flexibility. Um, it's a forward bend with an, with, with an internal rotation of the scapula and the shoulders. Take a full breath to begin peeling the spine away from the pole, rotating through the shoulder joint. Good, beautiful. And the arms end up behind. And let's take two breaths to roll up, rolling up through the spine. And feel that unwinding of the shoulders as you unwind the spine all the way up. And again, two breaths to curl away from the pole. Feel that stretch across the chest, reaching and rolling up. All the way up to the beginning position. And just one more of these. That's it, deepening the contraction on this one. Open the chest a little bit more and start from the base of the spine, rolling up. All the way up. That's it, and elevate the shoulders, release the straps, arms down by your sides. And then just lift the arms up and press down. Lengthen the body two more times. Lift and press. Last time lifting up. Press down and just take a deep breath in and exhale through here. Nice work. Thank you, Deb. So that gives you a sense of some of the work that we do seated against the pole. The last piece, the, the shoulder rotation with the, with the spinal flexion, um, I would suggest that you try that without the springs first. Um, and if you feel any discomfort whatsoever, um, have someone spot you doing it. It's, it's not one to try for the first time on your own. So thank you very much, and I hope you've enjoyed this segment.